Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a prismatic bar AB of weight P lies in a vertical plane with its ends resting against the smooth surfaces AC and BC as shown in figure. Find the relation uh, between the angles alpha and beta when the bar is in equilibrium. In this problem given is a prismatic bar AB of weight P is arranged like this and angle between this surface and horizontal is alpha, angle between these two surfaces is 90 degrees and angle between prismatic bar and this surface is beta. So in this problem we need to find for equilibrium the relationship between beta and alpha. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. The weight of the bar AB uh, is going to act vertically downwards from the middle of the bar like shown here P and let us assume the length of the bar AB is 2L. So from here to here is L and from here to here is L. So at this end B there is a reaction RB will be acting perpendicular to this plane. Similarly, at this end A, there is another reaction Ra will be acting perpendicular to this plane here. So, here uh, since these two uh, surfaces are smooth, so there, uh, there are no uh, frictional forces. So, here the angle between this bar and this plane is beta. So, this angle will also be beta between this Rb and uh, this bar. So, if this is beta, then angle between P and this bar will be alpha plus beta. Now let us draw force triangle since there are three forces 1, 2, 3. First let us take P. Uh, let us draw, a, draw an arrow parallel to P, uh, parallel to this P here. So draw in here and let us draw from the end of this P uh, Ra that is parallel to this Ra here that is drawn here and from the end of this Ra let us draw Rb parallel to this so that is drawn here. So then angle between P and RB will be alpha. So and angle between RB and RA will be 90 degrees since you can see here uh, there is, this is 90 degrees. So if this is alpha this is 90 degrees then this angle will become 90 minus alpha. Now let us apply sine rule for this triangle right angle triangle. So Sine rule is P by sin 90 equal to Ra by sin alpha equal to Rb by sin 90 minus alpha that is written here. So from this sine rule we can find Ra equal to P into sin alpha uh, that is from first and second terms and similarly from first and uh, third term we can find we can find Rb equal to P sin 90 minus alpha sin 90 minus alpha can be written as cos alpha so Rb equal to P cos alpha. So on this bar AB there are three forces acting RA, P and RB. Now let us take moments about A. So RA won't create any moment about A. So P and RB will create moments. First uh, uh, moments about A can be written as sigma MA equal to 0. Now moment due to P about A can be written as the component of P perpendicular to this bar and length from here to here that is L. So since this angle is alpha plus beta, so per, uh, per component uh, of P perpendicular to this bar, bar is P sin alpha plus beta and length is L. So that is written here. P sin alpha plus beta into L that is a moment due to P about A that should be equal to uh, moment due to RB about A. So moment due to RB about A can be written as uh, the component of RB perpendicular to this bar AB. Uh, can be written as Rb sin beta since this angle is beta and total length is 2L. So that is written here 2L into Rb into sin beta. So in, we have seen in the previous slide Rb. Rb is P cos alpha that is substituted here. So after simplification we get tan alpha equal to tan beta. So tan alpha will be equal to tan beta when alpha equal to beta. So that is the solution here. So when alpha equal to when alpha equal to beta then this bar will be in equilibrium. That's all for today's video. If you like this content please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.